Good morning, everyone. Happy uh, Wednesday. What is today? <laughs> what day is Wednesday? <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Okay, I am down in the sewing room. Um, I've got some time today to do some sewing. Um, I need to be working on the sew along, but I think I'm going to work on my daughter's um, Uvita today. I need to cut out that dress. I was talking about her Miss Ruby Tuesday dress. I still need to cut out the bodice, um, but I haven't had a chance to hold that up to her, and I am anticipating adding at least a little bit of length to that bodice. Um, the rest of the dress is all cut out, just not the bodice. So anyway, I go, I mean, I'll have all the machines set up for that. And then I can, I, that will come together. It's in a dress. will come together really quickly. So then I can switch things over to my jeans. So along, which actually, I don't know that I'll have to change thread because I won't use my cover stitch for jeans and I won't be using my sewing machine. I don't think for the, um, Uvita, I can use the same serger thread for both. It's just the cover stitch that I'll need to have different color, my fabric color in which would be good for both uh, the Uvita and the dress because it's the same fabric. <laughs> Gotta be strategic about these things. So anyway, I'm going to work on that today. Um, it is 1045. I've been doing some admin work this morning, answering some emails and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm gonna get started doing some sewing and then my kids were supposed to have their concert last night and it got rained out. So, cause the concert's outdoors um, for band and orchestra. So it is tonight now. So um, I say tonight, it's like this evening. They're doing it early cause obviously it gets dark. So um, it's at five this evening. So we are gonna be heading over to the school at 4.30. Um, they're in school today. So they will just go straight there from school. When they get out, they're gonna stay at school. And we'll just meet them there. Um, at 4.30. So um, I'm going to set up my, uh, I'll set you up and just do some time lapse of me basically at the serger <laughs> and cover stitch machine. So yeah, I'm gonna go get those set up and uh, yeah, let's do some sewing for my daughter today. All right. So my battery died while I was sewing and I didn't notice it until later. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's finished. Um, this took a little bit longer than like a normal like knit top. Um, but I've done the, um, the thumb holes and the cuffs there. We've got the kangaroo pocket. I say finished. I still need to go back because um, I used my cover stitch. And I'd like to um, put the thread on my sewing machine and just do some bar tacks here at this kangaroo pocket just to keep it, you know, make sure it's all, I mean, it's tied off on the inside, but that's gonna get a lot of stress. So I do want to bar tack uh, at the bottom and top of both sides of the pocket. But other than that, we are, um, yeah, we're good to go. She picked up this neon cording that I had for the drawstring, which I think is kind of fun. Um, it's got the hood, obviously, on there. A band at the bottom. I think this is going to be perfect over her leggings that I just finished, um, which is obviously part of the module that I was working on this for. Um, yeah, and the dress is back there somewhere. Um, but I have the other top that I've made, kind of a, a dress type top. So anyway, yeah. Very pleased with that. So yeah, other than the bar tacks, this one is all ready to go. So um, I think maybe later today I will try to look or hold up that pattern, the dress pattern up to her just to see if we need to add any length. Um, we probably will need to and get that bodice cut out. That way I can get that dress sewn up. Um, they'll be home tomorrow for virtual day so I don't get as much sewing. Um, so I probably won't do sew along sewing tomorrow. Probably wait and do that on Friday because uh, they'll be at school on Friday. So it gives me a large chunk of time to be able to do that. So um, anyway. That's what I've got for today. It's probably all I'm gonna do for today. Um, I've got a little bit of um, like mom stuff, home stuff that I need to work on um, before we head to um, their concert. I have like, 
I don't know, three and a half hours until we have to go to one. Um, but I need to go eat lunch and stuff. So I'm going to go do that. And then, um, yeah, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy uh, Saturday. <laughs> okay, so, sorry. I haven't been on here since Wednesday. Um, just mostly because we've had, I don't know, it's just life has been crazy. So um, I did finish. I actually did so on Thursday. Thursday was a at home day. So the kids were at home on Thursday. So I was teaching or helping with stuff on Thursday, but I did have time to finish my daughter's dress. You can see the blue dress hanging up there. She's actually already worn her sweatshirt. <laughs> she had that on yesterday. Um, so anyway, that's coming together. I have one more top to make for that. And then, um, I can get her filmed for her module. So that's exciting. Um, and I don't think it's that, um, bat wing top in that kind of open weave sweat sweater net that I'm going to make. Um, so I think I should be able to get that done pretty easily. Um, and it won't take very long. I just need to find some time. But anyway, um, and then let's see, Friday, yesterday they were in school, but I had a lunch meeting yesterday. And then I went over, um, my good friend Jenny, my thrifting buddy Jenny, that you guys have all met. Um, she just redid her living room. And so, um, she asked me to come over so I could see it in person and went over there. And then of course, um, Indiana, I don't know how it is. Well, I know that it's not good in the rest of the country either, but we are having a surge in COVID numbers right now. So she said, well, let's go run to Goodwill before everything gets closed down. Um, so two things happened on that trip. Number one, so we did go to Goodwill. I wanted to get some um, ceramic things actually for my watercolor painting. So uh, a couple of the watercolor classes I'm kind of taking online. I'm taking, looking at some craftsy classes and also some um, Skillshare classes with my watercolor adventure that I'm doing right now. Anyway, a lot of people just use like white ceramic plates to mix their watercolor paint. It's just easier than buying like a plastic um, uh, palette or whatever. Like watercolor is just different than, you know, like an acrylic or whatever. So for paint mixing and that kind of thing. So I went and I wanted to find um, a white ceramic dish for my paint palette basically and I found that of course um, and then I wanted to find some glass jars for my water jars and also to store my brushes so they can just be stored out so anyway we went and did that and I came across two patterns and this is not something and they're in pristine condition um okay so I want to know I'm also gonna have a cup of coffee in my hand <laughs> I want to know if you guys have heard I feel like this is probably from um or it is the stretch and sew era but I've not heard of these Jean Hardy patterns I got pattern number 30, which is a raglan shirt, and all it's got multiple sizes in here. Um, let's see, it's bust sizes 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, and 42. Um, I thought this was really cool. And both of these are for knit fabrics, like double knits, I think is what it says. Well, this one may not be double knits. The other one is, though. I'll have to look at it more. <laughs> um, but it's got the whole pattern in here, and they're on big, nice sheets of paper. So you would want to, it's not on tissue paper, so you would want to trace and I can't remember if it's this one or the other one. One of these, oh, it's this one. One of these already has one traced off, like on the um, cross and dot. Here, let me set this down. I'm trying not to kick that over. On the, um, the cross and dot paper, or I guess that's just dot paper, that's not even cross. But um, I haven't, I was like, oh, I hope that's my size that they've traced off. <laughs> Be handy. <laughs> anyway, it's just a raglan knit top and it's in fantastic condition and what did I pay for it a dollar 99 cents and then I also um let's see they also had this miss mrs hip huggers um which is for double knit so it's like a pull-on jean they're hip huggers so they're gonna be like lower rise um uh, but anyway I was like well those are kind of fun too and those are sizes 6 8 10 12 14 and 16 and I haven't looked at the sizes I was just kind of assuming I would fall into one of those but maybe not, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I've not heard of the Jean Hardy patterns. I have heard of the stretch and sew, um, but these seem kind of similar. So let me all, let me know. I only paid a dollar for both of those for each. Um, so yeah, we'll have to dig into those at some point. So that was, a, I always look for um, sewing patterns and obviously fabric yardage when I pop into Goodwill. It's just one of those things that I do. Um, we went into two different Goodwills yesterday and um, one had nothing. Um, I mean, there were a few patterns that, you know, for like Halloween costumes or, um, you know, home deck stuff, that kind of thing. Like I can usually find a couple of sewing patterns, just not always for clothes. Um, but yeah, I saw those in the bucket at the second one. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not, like, I feel like this is something that I found something. So <laughs> I bought both those and they're in fantastic condition. Um, they're both from 1972. So I just feel like they both are in really good condition for being from, um, you know, in someone's dash since 72. Um, yeah, but anyway, 
So let me know if anyone has any information on those. I mean, I could obviously Google it, but if anyone has any personal experience with the Jean Hardy patterns, let me know. That was kind of a fun little thing. And then the second thing, so I live in Carmel, Indiana, which is a um, town just north of Indianapolis. Um, you know, it's a community. A lot of people work in Indianapolis that live. We're just 13 miles north of Indianapolis, of the center of Indianapolis. Um, so there's a ton of, I say I live in Indianapolis because it's a suburb of Indianapolis. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's a great community. I really, really love living here. Fantastic schools and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we have um, an arts and design district is kind of um, my town's big thing. Um, there's a lot of art galleries. Let's see, we have a huge Palladium. Michael Feinstein is the um, kind of the head of that, who is, um, he's a big name in the um, musical theater um, era or arena. And anyway, <clears throat> they do like live concerts. Well, not right now, but anyway, it's a beautiful facility, beautiful theater. Um, we have a lot of like shops and restaurants, a five-star hotel that just went up, the Carmichael that just went up near it. Um, a lot of really cool stuff that's in our arts and design district. Um, they've really done a lot with our downtown. But one of the things they have, so there is a street that runs um, perpendicular to the main, well, to Main Street <laughs> that goes through that arts and design district, and it's called Rangeline. And Rangeline also kind of runs... Um, well, it runs perpendicular, but also kind of goes into, um, it's how you get to the Palladium, which is like the theater and all that kind of stuff going down. Anyway, one section of Range Line, it was residential, it used to be residential, and they um, have left the homes, but turned it in, they've rezoned it to commercial. So there's a ton of little businesses that are in these old homes, and um, which I find to be very charming. Um, you know, some insurance companies, and um, you know, there's like, you know, a flower shop, some boutiques, that kind of thing. Anyway, <laughs> when we were going from one Goodwill to the other, we were driving past and we noticed one of the little houses had quilts outside. And we were like, Arr! and you know, pulled in and uh, it's called True Cotton and it is a quilt fabric shop that has, um, let's see, they've been open for four months and they're in like an old home, um, beautiful quilting fabric. I don't quilt, I'm always tempted though when I go in there, but she did have some cotton that would be like the uh, Ruby Star collection, which is um, a lot of the fabric, um, fashion fabric companies carry. So I would definitely call it shirting weight cotton like some lawns and stuff like that, and even just some shirtings. Um, she also had some um, woven, oh, really beautiful, like, um, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, or how to describe it, but things you could use for, like, jackets and um, bags. Um, I think that's why she had it in, was more for bags. Um, but you could totally use it for jackets or even pants. So, like, a loose weave but woven um, fabrics. Anyway ton of the designer stuff. It's adorable. So if you're in the Indianapolis area, look up True Cotton. It is really cute. And her next step, um, she's only been open for four months, obviously with COVID. You know, she's got big plans to do a lot of like community stuff, she said. You know, like community sews, like sewing bee or um, quilting bee type stuff. And she would like to add yarn at some point, which would then, you know, have like knitting groups in and all that kind of stuff. Um, so everything right now is on the main floor of the house, but there's obviously an upstairs that she would like to open up eventually, she said. Um, I chatted with the owner for quite a bit. Um, they've got rocking chairs that are out on their porch. I mean, it's just adorable. Um, so that was a really, really fun find. Um, I'm just so, it just makes me so happy to see a shop like that opening up in my own community. Um, I just think she's like, you know, her ethos of having a gathering place for crafters and seamstresses and knitters. And um, she has another lady she's talking to that does a lot of embroidery, um, like hand embroidery and all that kind of thing. It just makes me so happy. I think that that is a fantastic thing to have community around, obviously. Um, I mean, hence my channel. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. And um, if I have any, I'll, I'll link up. I know she had mentioned they just started an Instagram account um, that week. And anyway, I'll link what I can find. So if you are in the Indianapolis area, you can um, yeah, find a new little fun spot. Okay, I think that's all I've got for now. I need to do some, um, I've obviously just gotten out of the shower. It's Halloween today. Um, my son's in a soccer tournament. Um, that's the other thing. He's got soccer games all this weekend. So, but I need to get the sewing portion for tomorrow's uh, Sew Along film. So I'm going to obviously not show that on here, but you will see that. Um, well, you've already seen it by the time you see this. But go ahead and start sewing on my jeans. Okay, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday, and I will check in with you guys a little later. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Back you up. <laughs> so I have not been on here um, since Friday, maybe? 
when was, I don't even know when the last time I was on here. I have been working on the sew along and so I have been, um, it's been a bit of a beast. So all filming I've been doing has been either secret sewing um, that you'll be able to hear about more on Friday or um, it's been stuff for the sew along. I'm getting there. I, um, I really like my jeans. Um, they're not finished yet. I'm not finished filming yet. In fact, um, I had to recharge some batteries and I'm doing some filming on my phone just because it's easier to have in my lap than the camera. Um, anyway, um, taking a little bit of a break, but I think I should finish it tomorrow. I should finish filming um, the actual tutorial parts of the sew along tomorrow. I haven't done any of the intros or anything like that yet, but uh, anyway. Um, yeah, just been doing a whole lot of filming. Um, okay, you're watching this on Wednesday. Hopefully I'm able to give the um, winner it, check Instagram. I'm really hopeful that Instagram will go back to normal, that I can look at the hashtag and make sure that I'm seeing everything that has been tagged onto the work from home module so along hashtag. Um, so annoying. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully that that has been released. Um, which it should be because everyone will be done voting by tomorrow, even if we don't know the results yet. So um, we voted early, so I, um, earlier a few weeks ago, so I have not gotten out, um, I haven't had to leave today because um, we already did our voting, but um, yeah, I have a feeling things are going to get crazy this evening. <laughs> um, anyway, it's important. I hope you guys have all gotten out and voted if you are in the U.S. and if you are able to do that, um, no matter which way you're going, which way you're voting, and not even just for president, you know, voting for all the offices. It's such an important thing. Um, local to you offices, everything. It's a very, very important thing. So I hope that if you're able, that you were, got out and did your um, civic duty and uh, got your vote cast. Okay, um, so I basically am just coming on here to say bye. <laughs> um, I think my melanated fabric order was shipped. Um, I need to check again. When I looked at it earlier, the it's coming USPS and the shipping um, tracking had not been updated. So um, anyway, it's exciting. Hopefully in a couple days it'll have that here, which is all very, very exciting. I'll definitely share that with you when it gets here. Love getting some new fabric. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I've just been up to my ears in so long filming um, and secret sewing <laughs> you again you guys are going to be able to know more about on friday so stay tuned to that video so again sorry for the short vlog this week um i'm looking at a stack of the, the minerva fabric that i bought recently i really have a lot of things that i want to do and so creatively i think i need to do some fun stuff here next so <laughs> um yeah i'll carry on with getting the stuff I have to get done done and then um yeah we'll do some fun stuff okay that's all I've got for today hope you guys are having a great Tuesday and I will see you guys in next week's vlog bye-bye